guys, this is Shaylon, and it's Wednesday. This is my second video for today, my final video for today, and it's going to be a vlog. Um, this particular vlog, excuse me, is going to be about taking risks. And I know I've talked to you about purposes and roles, so this might go along with it. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy this one just as much. So we've been told that we should take risks because risks open up opportunities, which I do believe. Um, they also off offer sacrifices in a lot of instances as well. But it's a really good thing to take risk in life because you never know what you're going to get. That's, that's just that's what comes with taking a risk. But I believe there's three channels of risk. And I'm going to be talking specifically to the fitness and health community um, because in my blog I will then kind of introduce it to the general population. Um, the three channels of risk. The first channel of risk is death. The second channel of risk is having things pulled from you, which I will explain later. And the third channel of risk is prosperity and growth. And obviously, out of three of those, you're going to assume, just like myself, the last one is the one that you want to aim for. And that is correct. But um, we've all taken risks that have led to at least one or two of these channels at some point in our lives. Um, the first one being death. When I talk about death, I don't necessarily always mean literal death. I sometimes mean mental um, death as well, like, you know, you're mentally just fatigued. Um, basically what that would require, you know, eating disorders that can kill you, addictions that can kill you, obsessions that can kill you. Um, those kind of things can lead to mental death or physical death. So, um, depending on the circumstances, it can lead to both or one or the other. Um, secondly, when things get pulled from you, that can cause you, or when people pull things from you, that can cause you to lead to death. Um, whether mental or physical and what I mean by pulling things from you is um, for example when people call you names that's pulling self-confidence that's pulling your self-esteem when people bully you that's pulling your self-confidence your self-esteem when um, you're trying to reach perfection for those of us that might have obsessions that is pulling things from you in order to do so and so when you finally reach um, no level of perfection you give up and that's when it leads to either death fatigue wise in your mental state or literally. Um, also, since we all have possibly idols that we look up to, and goes one and the same, we want to have their body frame, we want to have their life, and so we try to follow in their footsteps. And when we don't reach the same amount of hype as they have, it leads to a negative um, risk, which is us either dying from it or mentally uh, decaying from it. Um, so losing your self-esteem, losing your self-confidence, being bullied, um, trying to reach perfections, those are all things that are pulling from you that can lead you to go in a bad, bad risk. And then there's prosperity and growth. And in the fitness community, that could be owning a gym, losing a ton of weight and encouraging others, being, becoming a motivational speaker or possibly being a personal trainer and helping a lot of other people, um, being a nutritionist, a dietitian, um, that kind of stuff. So that's prosperity and growth. And um, all of us, like I said, have done one or the other kind of risk, if not two. So I don't believe risks are meant to be analyzed. I don't believe we should sit here and think about, well, hmm, do I want to get made fun of today or do I not? I don't think that's what it comes down to. I think it comes down to, in my personal opinion, that when we take risk, we have to know how far we're willing to go. Are we willing to endure certain things um, when we take those risks? Are we willing to sacrifice certain things in order to get what we want out of those risks? Um, are you on a path where you possibly could die mentally uh, decaying or physically putting yourself in harm's way? Um, where you know that it's going to cause you to die. And I guess this is just one of those videos I just want you to think about and kind of take that in consideration when you take risk. It's not necessarily think about the risk you're taking, but think about how your risks are affecting you. Are you prospering from the risk? Is it depleting you? Or are you on already rock bottom and there's no getting back? To where you were kind of thing so that's just something to give you guys thought over um i won't make this long i just wanted that to kind of like 
make you guys jog your minds and stuff like that. So give me some feedback. If it made sense, if it did not make sense, I apologize ahead of time, but I am the type of person that likes to talk to myself. And so when I talk to myself, not in like a weird way, but when I ramble to myself about thoughts, then I like to share them with you guys. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And if it doesn't, like I said, I apologize ahead of time. But this was my final video for today, and I will see you guys Monday. So have a wonderful Wednesday.